So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create a brand new repository. I'm calling this Amplify Gatsby Blog Starter. And so you can make it public or private. You probably want to make yours private, but I'm going to make it public so you guys can see what it looks like afterwards. So we end up creating this brand new repository where the only thing that I have is a readme in it. So then in Git Kraken, what we can do is we can clone this repository. So we want to take the already existing repository that just has that single file and we want to clone it onto our desktop so that we can start working with it. So here we are. We have it cloned onto our desktop and now we want to make a staging branch. And so it's very important, as you might have seen in my previous blog post, it's very important to separate your master from your staging branch so that you can have a branch to play around with and while a different one is still serving your customers. So first we made a staging branch and now we're going to make our feature branch. And so the feature branch is where you actually make your work. Okay, so I made this feature branch and now what I need to do is I need to create a new Gatsby project. And so the command here is Gatsby new and then whatever your folder name is going to be. Okay, so now that I'm in my dev folder, I can first go into the amplify folder and I can type command shift period and this will show all the files both hidden and non-hidden in the folder. So I want to copy everything except for the git folder that's there because I already have the git folder that we created in our new repository. And so now I am copying all of the files over from the the starter project over into our Git repository. Okay, great. So that part is done. And so we can see that there are a ton of new files that are unstaged and in our feature branch. And so this is exactly what we want. And so we can just go ahead and make a commit here with all of those new files created from the starter project. And so now we can push this to GitHub too. So now we have our staging and our feature branch all pushed up to GitHub. And so now what I want to do is actually see whether the starter project works. So I go into my cloned project and first I do an npm install. And so what this will do is it will look through the package.json file. It will take all of the different dependencies and it will install them into a folder called node modules in my project. Okay, great. So now that everything's installed, we can do npm start, which will start our local development server for Gatsby. And we can see that it's all starting up now. And so we can go to localhost colon 8000. And we should be able to see our, our Gatsby default starter. And you can see that sure enough, it loads. So this is great. So this means that the code that we just made works. And we can just double check that nothing changed. You can see that now we have a package lock and this will make sure all the dependencies are, are locked on any installation, any place that you install this. So we should commit this file to this feature branch. So we commit it and then we can, we can push it up to GitHub. So now that we have our feature branch that's ready to go, we can create a pull request from our feature branch onto staging. So we can go back to GitHub. We can make sure that we're going from our feature branch onto our staging. then we can uh, create the pull request. Okay, great. So the pull request has been made. And so now we need to merge the pull request. And we should make sure that we do a squash and merge because that will take those two commits that we made on the feature branch and squash them down to onto a single commit that gets applied to staging. So once that's been done, we can then delete the branch on GitHub. We can then do a fetch all and get Kraken, which will get the new commit that was made onto staging.
and we can do a pull to update staging. So now that we're on our staging branch, we can delete the local branch for the feature that we created because it's already been merged in, so we don't need it anymore. So now the next thing we want to do is make a merge from staging down onto master, so we can have a working master as well. So you can see that it's now from staging to master. We can create the pull request. And now we want to merge it. And we want to make sure that we don't click a squash and merge because we, we won't be deleting our staging branch after we're done. So we just do a normal merge. We can title it. And it's our second pull request, so that's why I'm putting a number two there. And so I can confirm the merge. I want to make sure that I don't click the delete here. And great, so you can see that there is now um, this the commit that we made on staging is now merged onto master.